Life should be an exciting adventure. When you wake up in the morning, you should say, thank you, Rotary. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve, to give something back to the community, to help the less fortunate people around the world. To, you know, that's what Rotary is all about. And that's why I think most people that join Rotary, they, they join exactly for that reason. They want to serve. The Rotarians are just like ordinary people. They really, really want to do something, but they just don't do it. And the reason is, is, is that they're in a box. I call it the conformity box. And the people that are in a conformity box, they don't like to take risk. They, they, they fear failure. They don't like change. And, and, and as part of that, they don't live a very purposeful life. But most people that are in a box are happy. And, and you know what, that's, that's what life's all about, to be happy. So I don't have any problem with the people that are in a box. But if you really want to serve, if you really want to help the less fortunate people in the world, you've got to get out of that box. And when you get out of that box, you can soar like an eagle. And you can do all these things that you really, really wanted to do. In order to, in order to do that, you have to have the ability to take action. So you might say, wow, that's easy. It's not easy. Let me give you an example. Let's say you go, let's say you go to the doctor and, and you're 50 pounds overweight and the doctor says, hey, you know what, you're gonna lose that 50 pounds, you're gonna die. And then immediately you say, whoa, wait, wait, I don't wanna die. So immediately you think of, I'm gonna go on a diet. So you've set a goal. And, and all you do is think about all the benefits that will happen if you lose this weight. I'll, I'll look better. I'll feel better, I'll have more energy, I, I'll, I'll have more enthusiasm for life. I can, uh, uh, people will be praising me. I'll have less chance of a heart attack or a stroke or diabetes. You can go on and on and on. And they're all good reasons. But you know what, why then, do, do most people are going to die, why do they not complete the diet? Why don't they lose the weight? I think because they're only thinking of the benefits. And you have to really look at the negatives. I call them the rotten thinking deterrence. They, they're, they're trying to sabotage your goal. And if you don't look at them, and you don't minimize them, and beat them with a stick, you, you, you're not gonna be able to take action. So what are some of the deterrents? Well, you say, well, if I go on a diet, I'm gonna have to give up pasta, and, and dessert, and martinis, and beer, and you're gonna have to get on a treadmill, or walk around a block 20 times, or, you, uh, not all, you're gonna have to drink eight glasses of water. Now, if these things, these negatives, these deterrents are so powerful, they hurt so much that they overwhelm your thinking and they become stronger than the, the benefits, guess what? You're not gonna be able to take action. So what we, what we wanna do here is to say, if you really wanna do something, you have to be able to take action. My passion in life is to help the less fortunate people around the world to have clean drinking water. So I have, I have a passion for that. So I, I've, I've eliminated the, the, the negatives. So what I want to do now is I want to have the opportunity to motivate as many people as I possibly can. So I'd like to, I'd like to talk at your district conferences. I'd like to talk at pets. I'd like to talk at, 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 at club meetings. I want to spread the word about water. All I want you to do is give me a chance. I'm the water man. Give me a chance. Thanks.